Hi everyone! So I'm going to be trying a new thing here. I got this idea from Sylvia or at Wish Fulfillment. Um, I'll link her channel down below. I know some other people have done this too, but I, I found it from her channel and she has really good videos, so you should check those out. So, my TBRs. They are never ending because I'm a person that reads multiple books. Even if I'm like really engaged into one book, there's still another book that I'm reading pieces of here and there. So I'm kind of, you know, a multi reader and everything. And I got stacks of books that I I got years ago that I never finished. I barely started, and it's not because I have no interest in them, it's just because I don't know what to read next. And so I decided to do the TBR wrapping. And basically what that means is uh, I have wrapped my TBR. So I don't know what any of these are. Oh, got a piece of freaking hair there, oh my god, I'm so sorry, my hair is like everywhere hair, kitty fur, you know, stuff like that. So, unfortunately, I didn't realize that the tape that I got is actually double-sided, so a lot of these are freaking sticking together. I have not wrapped all my books because I haven't had the time to go and get more tape. I have more wrapping paper, I just don't have tape. So what I've decided is to take all my unwrapped books and put them in another room for right now and focus on what I have wrapped up because I have quite a bit wrapped up, so... I have enough to get through for at least a couple months here, if not more. So, these I believe in this wrapping paper here are contemporary, I think maybe mostly young adult contemporary. This camel kind of looking stuff here, I did like anything that's kind of sci-fi, dystopia, and I believe horror in this one. And then these, I believe, are any kind of children's or something like that in, in the funny, you know, the smiley face kind of things. So, my goal is to read at least 30 books before my birthday, which is in November. So far, I have read two books. I've read Two Girls Staring at the Ceiling, which is told in verse, so... And, um, I just finished the Monster Calls. Both were not very long, but they're still long enough to be considered, or, like, novels or whatever. So I'm counting them, so I have 28 more to go. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unwrap six of these. Six, yeah. Two, four, six. Yeah, six. I have three here. So I'm going to wrap two of each. I'm going to tell you how I feel about them, if I'm excited to read them, and my thoughts, and of course eventually when I'm done with all of them you will get a book review on each individual one. So because I have sort of a long reading goal for the time I or sort of a big one for the time I have, I'm going to pick the smaller books and then work my way up to the bigger ones. So, I'm going to do one of each. I don't want to open two contemporary at the same time and whatever. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So, I'm going to feel for a small book here. This one feels kind of small. So, uh, this one here is out of the children's one. So, let's see what this one is. And this one is oh okay a goosebumps one. I can't even remember if I actually read this one or not, or if I just seen the show on it because I read a lot of goosebumps, but I don't remember reading this one here. This is Legend of the Lost Legend, and I really don't remember anything about it. So I'm kind of happy that I unwrapped something like this because I love goosebumps, and I honestly don't remember this one. So it won't be a reread. Because some of them are like, did I ever actually finish that book? 
And, and I love the Goosebumps series, so I wouldn't mind rereading any of them because they were just so fun. But I'm kind of doing this to read stuff I haven't read yet, so I'm glad I opened this one because I honestly don't remember reading this one at all. So that's good. Next, let's pick a contemporary. And here I am, again, with the skinny one. So the smallest one I could find. This one is... Okay. This one I actually already started reading. Um, some of these I do have that I've started and I've put back. So there's that. And this one is Whirligig, or I think it might be called Whirligig. So I heard about this when I was younger. They had it in like those scholastic book fair kind of things. And I, I liked the idea of the story, but I never got it when I was younger. And then I found this like in a thrift store or Goodwill, something like that. And basically, if I remember right, this is about a boy who tries to commit suicide by crashing his car and instead he ends up killing another young person. He kills a young girl. And if I'm right, it's his mother, not his mother, but her mother that wants him to go to the corners of the country or different places in the United States and put these little whirly things that look like her daughter in there. Um, I don't know too much more about it than that, but the story seems interesting and I like, you know, those kind of deep life-changing stories. And it looks pretty small. I'm probably going to start it over again if I can remember where I'm at in the story because I know I'm not this far here at all. I was like way in the beginning, so I just kind of stuck this in here. But um, this one is only, how long is it? Uh, it's, it's less than 200 pages. I could probably finish this in like two or three days given my schedule and everything. So definitely this is really good. And on to horror dystopia. Which one do I want to open? First, oh, here we go. Here's a book that feels kind of small. And this one. Oh, a Clockwork Orange. Okay. So, I wasn't sure when I wanted to read this because I heard it's quite disturbing in a lot of ways. And I've never really read a book where the main character is more of an antagonist, you know, versus the normal protagonist. But a YouTuber that I like, um, that I really like, um, Graveyard Girl, who is also known as Bunny. She has a lot of fun videos and everything. She really likes this book. I think this is one of her favorites she mentions before. And I know she has a tattoo with one of the quotes from this book on her. So, um, I'm going to give it a chance. Like I said, I've never read a book that's mainly focused on bad people. So, this should be interesting. This is going to be different for me. And uh, it's an older book. So, older, I guess, dystopian light classic. So... So, since we started with the children's, and we end it with the Stofian, whatever else, let's go back to contemporary, and we will open a book from there again. So, uh, which one do I want? Which one do I want to read? Um, uh, I can't tell. I'm so sorry. I told you. Double-sided. This stuff is like, I'm done. Okay. I'll pick a little bit of a thicker one here. Because I'll read, like I said, small ones first. Okay, this one is called Zigzag. And... I think I mainly picked this one up because it's supposed to be about a road trip and I kind of like 
like road trip movies and stuff if they're like done well. Like I said, I like movies, books, you know, life changing, discovering life, stuff like that. So it says this book is proof a road trip can change your life and it that's from Seventeen magazine, so this is definitely like a young adult book. But um it could be fun. I don't know much about it. I haven't heard too much, so there's not a whole lot of hype on it. And I kind of run read more books like that. I want to read books that aren't so hyped up. Not that there's, a, there's anything wrong with hyped up books, because I, I love a lot of them. You know, like Harry Potter and stuff like that. But, you know, books that don't get talked about a lot, that don't have all these movies behind them, all this merchandise, all this other stuff, you know, stuff that's a little bit more obscure, independent, and stuff like that, you know, that they need a, a chance to be read and viewed and, you know, have people make opinions on them. So, zigzag. So, so then, let's go back to the camo hair. Um, I don't know which one to pick. Um, here, we'll do this one. Let's see what this one is. What am I reading? What am I reading next out of this pile? Oh! And I was just talking about uh, dystopia and stuff. And literally, I picked one of the best known ones ever 1984 I got this a while back when I was reading the Hunger Games and I decided I wanted to read a lot more dystopia because I love that trilogy watch my channel you know I love that one to death I was listening to Divergent and I was kind of enjoying that one I love The Giver Gathering Blue was kind of okay, I still enjoyed it, and I love a book called Unwind, which I recently did a video on, too. So, I have two well-known dystopian classics to read, and I'm looking forward to this one a little bit more, just because it seems a little bit more dystopic-like. And then, finally, one more out of the children's pile. So let's see. Let's pick one more tiny one here. Cause I got a couple of big books. So let's see what this one here is. This one is The Search for Delicious, Natalie Babbitt. Okay, so I also have, which is somewhere I think in here, um, Talk Everlasting, which I have to read that yet, but it looks like I am reading The Search for Delicious first. So, it says, in this kingdom, one word can start a war. And from what I see, it's a fantasy? And it's about trying to find which food should stand for delicious in the new dictionary. So I guess one of these characters are on a search for food in this fantasy-like world. So that should be interesting. I don't hear too much of that kind of thing too often. So you have somebody who has a well-known book that's been turned into a movie. And then here's one of her not-so-well-known books. So these right here are my current TBR. We have Legend of the Lost Legend, Goosebumps, Really Gig, A Clockwork Orange, Zigzag, 1984, and The Search for Delicious. So I will get to reading these. Basically the small ones first. I might start with the Goosebumps ones because that's a pretty quick read and I will be bringing you book reviews so if you sat through all this thank you very much this was very new to me 
this whole thing. So I hope you um, enjoyed like I did. I think this is fun. It's a lot of work to wrap all these, but you know, being surprised, it's fun. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Like,